An exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No, he was thrown in! Found our murderer. More fools than Helipes came hunting me down, did you? It seems that way. I'll stop you! I'll stop you! The power! The Until I have my revenge. Revenge? The bastards at the guild who tried to kill me! They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. Wait, are you saying the whole guild was involved? Of course. <laughs> You think a second-rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is... Our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point.
And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. How do you mean to get this revenge of yours? A raid on Helavis. I'll kill the lot of them. This I swear. That would be suicide. Do you have any idea how many exorcists are around? They'll hunt me down no matter what I do. I just want the guild to pay for what they did to me. That's all I wanted. But I guess even that's not going to work out. We'll take this back to town and tell him you're dead. That should be enough to satisfy the exorcists and get them to call off the search. But... why? I have my reasons. We need a boat fixed for starters. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down. By the way, how on earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck. And a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see. Is this really how you want to play it? Listen, I'm being hunted too. It's only a matter of time. I can't afford sympathy.
lucky the snow has been white for the past few years. Why is that lucky? Snow is always white. Wrong. In Helleves, it isn't always. Depending on the direction of the wind and what the volcano is up to, volcanic ash can mix in with the snow and turn it gray. There's a volcano nearby? It's actually quite a ways up north, but it's the biggest volcano in all of Midgand. Mount Killaraus, it's called. And that's where we mine our flamestone. Actually, it's the only place you can mine the stuff. Hmm, Mount Killerous. It's got a nice ring to it. You ever seen a volcano, Velvet? No, and I'm not interested. This is Dial's tail! Did you- We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like, but I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach, and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore.
Hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go! Hey! You don't need to be so pushy. That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on! And that's how it's done. Get it? I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. That may be at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. It'll help me take him down. Thank 
Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. 
Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can, but we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. Yeah.